So that when we're talking about acid solutions, we have different strengths. So one, the one common things that we do for people is on a once a month procedure, we'll use trichloroacetic acid 15% or trichloroacid 23%. This is what I do for a strong, mild chemical peel, just like I did on my daughter that I used. And that you can do once a month. What you ought to do at home is the glycolic TCA pads we have, plus the glycolic facial enhancement cream and the ultra anti-aging cream, you do at home on a two times a week, three times a week, whatever you tolerate. The more you get it to penetrate, the better the result, but of course you're gonna get some scaling with that. But these we used on a once a month basis. Now, we have the acetone that, we, that, we, that I use, because when you clean the skin with acetone and get all the oil off, you can get better penetration. There's no harm to the skin, no problem. And in fact, when I do a phenol chemical pill, I use acetone, I'll use this strength acid, then I put the stronger acid to make sure it gets complete penetration. Now, we have here 100% trichloroacetic acid. This I use for any pre-cancer spots. So I take the pre-cancer off, I apply this, it eliminates the rest of the skin cancer, and so I'll use that 100%. 100% is too strong to use on the face for a total chemical peel. Okay, it may scar up, so you gotta be careful. But for individual little cancer spots, it works real well, pre-cancer spots. And then we have basically, well, this is, we call this Moncel solution. This we use after a biopsy when somebody is get bleeding, we put this on to stop the bleeding. You can also use dry sol to stop the bleeding. And so commonly I'll use this first. I use this first, stop most of the bleeding and then finish it off with this, okay? And basically that's the things that we have in the office that we use very frequently, okay?